This is a problem from a uh, number theory textbook, an older number theory textbook, and uh, I want to just shift the direction slightly to all. Uh, Sierpinski just said find all positive integers, but I'm looking for all of them. I recommend this book, by the way. It's a nice one. It's a good one. It has solutions at the back, too, also. All 250 problems are worked out. Now, he didn't use uh, just the division algorithm for polynomials, but you can use synthetic or long division to write this in the uh, quotient, dividend, you know, remainder, divisor sort of format. Now, uh, this makes it very easy to determine exactly when the given quotient is going to be equal to an integer. First of all, this piece right here, this piece right here, the circle piece right here is always an integer, right? All right, it's a member of Z always, right? It's a member of Z. So all we have to do is worry about this piece right here. When will this piece be an integer? And I'm just going to write down the set of values by inspection. If N is zero, okay, if N is zero, this part's an integer, right? Uh, also, if n is equal to 1, this piece right here is an integer. 2 over 2 is certainly 1. And by the way, that's the solution he got. Let me let me erase that. That looks like crap. For some reason, this, this thing is vibrating. Probably some bug. All right, so... Uh, not sure. Okay, so 1. And that's the, that's the only positive integer solution. But another solution that's revealed by this approach is negative three, okay? So these are. this is the answer. This is all of the positive, all of the integers, not just all positive integers, all integers. His, his answer would have just been one is how he did it, but he, oddly enough, he didn't use this approach. He just did some standard factoring and limited the, the nature of the problem in that fashion. But if you, if you write it in this fashion right here, it's easy to see that zero, one, and negative three are the only possible uh, integers such that this quotient is an integer. Okay, so that is it. Problem. I like this approach. Uh, it's a it's a it's a broader approach, I think, rather than just trying to factor this and, and get the solutions. And again, I recommend this book. It, the solutions, all the solutions, are in the back of this one. You can pick it up free on the web. Uh, it's just a standard free PDF floating around out there at multiple sites. And this gentleman. Uh, this gentleman was a Polish, very well known, had, had skills in a lot of different areas, and he took great care in his exposition and his publishing of the correct solutions. You could tell a lot of uh, uh, error checking went on in his work. A lot of books these days, they rush to publish, and there's tons of mistakes. I have yet to find one, although there's there probably is. It's just that in the old days when the publishing cycles were longer, uh, it, it necessarily minimized a lot of the mistakes. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for viewing.